Man, it has been a really long time since you guys have seen this car. What's up, bro? You got the goods? We got the package, bro. We got the bag. Bag secured. Thank you, bro. This should be everything. Oh, God. Here is everything that we need to completely finish the WRX. Next up for this thing are some height sensors, but we're gonna wait until John from Entice can come down and help me out with the wiring, because we wanna mount the height sensors when we actually know um, where the wires are gonna be routed and everything, so we don't have to like do double work. Today, we are getting the BRZ drift ready. So you guys might have seen Maverick before, but Maverick is gonna be helping out at the shop sometimes now, and he's actually gonna come drifting with me, so we're actually just gonna load up the BRZ with everything that we need for drift day, because I'm taking this drift tomorrow so I think we're gonna load up a set of four tires and then that's pretty much all we need to do this thing's already ready to go right yeah it's in the machine so you guys haven't seen the BRZ in a very very long time this is pretty much like my daily driver this is the car that I drive the most just for like everyday use but a lot of you guys have been saying that you want to see more drift content so DJ planned a drift day for tomorrow and I'm gonna go ahead and tag along with the BRZ and just have fun and learn a little bit more about drifting because you guys saw my first drift day we got it down pretty well, so I'm excited to see what I can do for round two. Show you guys how we're gonna pack up for drift day number two. We're gonna put two tires back here. Think we can fit the jack back here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try it. And then we're gonna take the jack as well. We're gonna keep on the Yokohamas and the raise wheels just in case to drive home in. And if we actually, if I run through these tires, which I don't think that I will, because BRZ is pretty slow and I really just don't know what I'm doing. We can always use these and drive home with these because these have a ton of tread left on them. But we're gonna go ahead and take this seems heavy yeah it's a heavy boy we can slap her in there and we are also this for how small the brz is it actually fits a lot yeah this. and then we're gonna throw another pair in the back seat bro we're set yeah that's dope dude super easy and the helmet and gloves Going on a road trip, brother. That's sick. Everything is packed up and good to go for tomorrow's drift day. So, for those of you who don't know, Maverick is like super into cars as well, and he also drives a 240. So, since he's gonna be in the videos more, um, I wanted to introduce you guys to him as well as his car, because he drives a pretty awesome 240 and does a lot of drifting as well. Let's get the rundown. You got GTR wheels on there? I have R32 wheels. So, like, the reason why they're mismatched is because I just don't have tires. I gotta get tires. But usually R32 wheels, I have random side skirt, random vans, <laughs> <laughs> LRB speed, I, I removed the sunroof because the person before me cut a hole in it. And then so then I wanted to go back to how it originally was. And then inside. Oh, it's super clean on the inside. Pretty stock. I have a little crash on, crack on the dash, which I'm kind of like bummed about. Tell me shift knob. What else? I have AST two-way suspension, which are pretty nice suspension. They're like worth more than my car. Because <laughs> it's like, it's crazy. And then I five lug swapped it. 300 ZX brakes, so big brakes and uh, one piece drive shaft. That's kind of it, it's pretty simple. That's all I really want. Simplicity is best when you're yeah. learning. That's dope, dude. So it's like drift ready and you daily drive it too, huh? Oh yeah, this is daily for sure. That's the best. Drift spec and everything, dude. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, yeah well, you can see my uh, my wall mark. This when I crash into a wall at Willow, <laughs> so. Nice. That's the real deal. I'm gonna send it tomorrow, so we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, we better I need- I wanna go hard. We better need to call someone with a tow <laughs> guys are excited because there will be 240 content as well whenever he gets new mods for his car and stuff it's gonna be a lot of fun another thing we're gonna do to prep this car for drift is I don't have a hydro yet so when I'm drifting I'm gonna want to use the e-brake and it's really hard to think about and drive while you're trying to press the e-brake button and drift so we're gonna do a homemade drift button slash hydro setup and what we're gonna use a quarter and some painters tape so basically we're just gonna press this button down and tape it this is gonna be so jank. It's drift car. We need some zip ties. <laughs> yes. Homemade drift button, boys. To make this better, I could like get a piece of like PVC and like PVC pipe it to like extend it. But just for purpose of tomorrow, this will do the job. All right, Mav. Dope. 
homemade hydro. That'll do the job, I think. I think this car is good to go. All right, so now that we are set and ready to go for drift day, today's actually gonna be pretty cool because yeah, throttle. throttle is actually throwing another one of their little meets tonight. And so I think I'm gonna take the BRZ to the meet since I have to drive this thing home. I don't think I've ever taken the BRZ to car meet before. So it's gonna be the BRZ's first car meet, which is pretty cool. And we got it all drift ready, which is super good too. So it's so cool how this small little car can fit so much stuff inside of it. That's what we are gonna do today. But before we head out to the meet and do that, I do wanna talk to you guys about the new Legends Media Drop on August 16th and show you guys a little bit more about the new shift knobs that we have, because these things are absolutely amazing. If you don't know, we do have a drop August 16th and we are dropping these limited edition shift knobs. Only 50 of these will be made and they come with these stickers to put on the shift knobs. These are super heavy weighted and they will actually be burnt tips like kind of like a titanium tip i'll have another one inside that i'm gonna show you guys but this is one style that you can choose from right here let's head inside and i'll show you guys the second style this one has the actual burnt tip this is the actual uh production sample that we have this is the real one right here so i go ahead and put this one in the gtr and you guys saw the first style which is the grim reaper top or you can choose from this style as well the way this works is you'll put your shift knob on before you put the sticker on. Don't put the sticker on before you put the shift knob on because then it won't like line up. But shift knobs on and then you take your little top sticker and there we go. Perfect. That's dope. And it's like super heavy. Cool. That's sick. So yeah, like I said, we have the burnt titanium tip with two different top pieces that you can choose from, Garage Legends or the Grim Reaper version. These drop on August 16th at 10 a.m. Pacific time. Like I said, there's only 50 available. So if you do want one, be sure to be on the site early so you can secure yourself one of the first ever Legends shift knobs. And these are gonna be dope. Once again, it is rollout time and everybody is coming along. It's gonna be awesome. It's always the best whenever the entire squad gets to roll together to a car meet. It's the coolest. some drift missile stuff to this thing. We need to get the 240 and the BRZ together drifting. We need BRZ 240 tandem drifting. No, we really do. We do, that would be so sick. That would be like, the, yeah, we do. <laughs> Let's make it happen. Now just to kind of, we're gonna show off the turbo kit tonight. Of course, baby Here's turbo the, for the win. Yes, first car meet in the BRZ and we gotta show off the turbo kit. So at least this little, this little guy. All right, we just got to the car meet. We already have some uh, some Skyline Bros here. Super clean GTST. And we also have a sick Evo 8 here. Oh, the Evo needs to make a redemption. I promise coming soon. I see what's going on here. Get in here. Crazy. Let's see it. Let's... Dude, what's up? Oh, what's up? Oh that's so sick. Insanity, dude. I'm from Colorado, dude. I came to see wow, you. Wow, that's dope, dude. Nuts. Thanks, man. What's up? Yeah, thank you guys for rocking the shirts, too. That's dude, super dope. Hell yeah, dude. A <laughs> great one. Damn. That's my favorite oh, one. Ooh, Evo game. Yeah. 
Hello. Hey, yeah, I see him. Yeah, this guy lives in my he lives in my neighborhood. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I'll be Dude. walking karma, <laughs> and he's like, wait a minute. So you should have this. Watch your YouTube this beef. <laughs> Who thinks me and Tiana need a dog? Me. Dude, let me know in the comments if we should get a dog. She won't let me get one because we travel too much, but. Oh, yes. Hello. Ooh. That license plate, too, though. Jana would like that one. That is some meat right there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but he has got some thick boys on the back. Whoa. I gotta check this thing out. Oh my God. That sounds literally unreal. Yo. So clean, bro. Got a bill head, GSE valve train, 280 cams, BVT. Uh, wow. Stock block, uh, GTX 3584, pure um, swap, here, fully built, swap. dude. Yeah. That's yeah. sick. If you guys want to check out this build more, what's your answer? Uh, always boost in 23. Oh, perfect name. Yeah. So. That's gnarly, dude. Think so, yeah, thanks, man. So, yeah, 625 yeah. Street Tune, 800 on the race map. The radios, which is what I'm running right now. Yeah, I saw you had radios on, like, yeah. dude. Oh my god. My, my first quality test here. You were the first person besides me to ever try out the new shift knob. What are you thinking? Honestly, it's actually pretty great. It's, I like the weight of it. it feels it's like super heavy, super right? Heavy. It cool. feels really good too. Does it feel good when you're shifting through the gearbox? It did, it, feel, it feels really good. Super notchy, I like it. Quality, brother. Bro, this I, thing is so clean. I know, play Eurobeat right now. I don't think I've, <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen like a super oh i'm about to lie i saw one in philly but no this one is actually very very clean wow even like even the interior is like super old school too oh yeah this thing is beautiful <laughs> this is yours yeah that's awesome man what's all done to it uh so right now pretty much just suspension wheels uh basic it's stuff. good as it is right yeah so i can't i really want to swap it so hopefully by the end of this year i'm swapping it so right now it's a 4 ac single cam uh -huh. so trying to do 4 ac wow. blacktop Ready? This is at yeah. So, so good. What's your Instagram? It's uh, karma.jp. Do you guys want to follow this 86 build? Go check that out. Nice. I love stuff like this. Oh, man. I'm sorry, buddy. This is going to be loud. Oh, it's not too bad. All right, we have finally made it home from the meet. It's actually pretty late right now, and I have to get up super early to go drifting tomorrow. I am so excited to finally take this car out again. Super awesome day, but I have a lot of editing to do, and I'm probably gonna be up pretty late. You not have to get up super early. You guys are amazing. Thanks to everybody who came up to me at the little meet. That was super cool. Stay tuned for the drift video. It's gonna be awesome. Once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.